Hey, I'm Chelsea with Tiny House Listings, and I help people find their dream tiny home. I represent this beautiful tiny home that you're about to see. And if you're interested, please let me know. My contact information is below. Talk to you soon. Hi, welcome to the Blue Gala. This is our beautiful tiny house located here in the North Woods. Uh, we're just gonna start out by showing you some of the features outside, and then we'll move inside for the interior. Okay, so we can see on the corner of, of all the corners here, we have what are called corner jacks. Uh, those are adjustable. They retract up when you're on the road, and then whenever you get to your location, you can put them down and it just helps keep the house stable. On the back side here, we have our water inlet. This will be where you hook up your direct water line. Uh, there's a water pump inside as well as a 30 gallon potable tank. So you have a couple options for water storage. This is your uh, power hookup. It goes up to 50 amps. Right now we have a 30 amp adapter just cause that's what um, was necessary for our location. But you can definitely go up to 50 amps um, or as low as uh, you need. Underneath, uh, I don't know if you can see, we do have um, black water and gray water uh, disposal. Um, those can be uh, shut so that uh, the valves are completely closed and then you can open them as well for uh, both types of sewer drainage. And then this is the front end. This is our trailer, uh, our trailer hitch. It is fully electric, so we have all the- Can you say that one more time? Just lights. say it one more time. What's this is our trailer hitch. This is our trailer hitch. Um, it's fully electric and uh, you see you have the hookups here as well as the power box. And uh, this is great for road travel. You have all your uh, tail lights and uh, blinker signals and all that stuff. And then the house was built with um, just regular propane hookups here for like a gas station size propane tanks. But we actually have this nice um, custom made extension so you can have big, you know, uh, as big as you want propane tanks for uh, long winters or as much heating as you need. Okay, um, back to the front here, you can see the only other feature out here that I wanted to point out is there is a nice little porch light. Uh, the switch for that is inside the house. Um, it's nice for uh, nighttime and, and all that. And then uh, there's also, oh yeah, over here, we also have a nice little outdoor outlet uh, with a nice little locking case that keeps water and bugs from getting in there. So that's a nice feature as well, in case you want some lights or something outside. And then this was a custom built staircase that came with um, the house. Uh, this is fully included with the house um, if desired. Okay, now we'll go inside. Okay, you can come inside now. All right, so the first thing I wanted to point out is this nice little um, in-glass shade. And it's pretty awesome. You can just kind of control it with this little knob. It retracts all the way up, and then you can retract it all the way down. Just kind of adjust it there. You can have them open, closed. It's a pretty cool little feature. Um, you got a bolt lock as well as a door lock. And then if you can see on these knobs, we actually have couple options for dimmers. The dimmers are going to be for the main living space in here, as well as the kitchen. All the other lights are just a switch light. Okay, then over here we have our propane heater. Um, this is what I was talking about, why it's nice to have that extension outside for a larger propane tank. That way, um, if you are located in a colder climate, like we were here in the Northwoods, you have plenty of heating for the winter, and then uh, that heat will also go to our gas stove and oven which we'll see later and then you know you just kind of have a couple outlets here plenty of hookups for charging your phone um, lights tvs anything like that and then this is our electrical ac unit uh this runs this can be a heater as well uh, we prefer doing the propane heat just because um that was our preference but this is a two-in-one it can do heat as well as cooling there is a remote control as well remote control and then this bench seating area um, is pretty awesome. It's, you know, very spacious for uh, seating as well as lying down. These cushions are custom made for the space. And um, there's actually some storage underneath, which uh, you can see photos of as well. But 
pretty spacious storage and that's going to be underneath both of these benches here okay and then here is the dining table um, what's great about this is that the table actually comes down and uh should i show that um there's photos okay you can see what the uh, photos look like when the uh, table is down and then this kind of just comes into a full wrap around l seating that's what this spare cushion is for it's just kind of the extra piece to the puzzle there but this is great because it you know, allows you a nice space to work on your laptop or to read or to, to art or have dinner. Um, it's a very multi-purpose space. Also storage, same as um, as here. Underneath both of these benches, uh, it's going to be the same on this side as well. And uh, over here, if you can see it, it's the thermostat that controls the propane heater. So this is uh, only for the propane heater, it doesn't control the electric unit, um, but it's a really nice feature as well. Very simple to use. And then up here you actually have some connections for um, cable, if uh, television or um, any purpose you'd like there. Okay, and then next I'm going to show you the loft. So if uh, I'll go up first and then you kind of just see from a distance. So the loft is um, very spacious. Uh, you'll see when we go into the bedroom that the loft is actually only as long as the kitchen space, which is really nice because it leaves um, the opportunity for really high ceilings uh, in the bedroom, which really opens up that space. But the loft is great for, um, you know, just lounging, uh, watching TV. It's a great extra space for sleeping and can hold, you know, I'd say it can hold up to four people comfortably, um, depending on the age and um, size of the person in the loft, uh, it's a great extra space for storage as well. Okay, go ahead and switch. Okay, so now uh, coming into the kitchen, we have a what we call an apartment size refrigerator. Um, we purchased this refrigerator uh, a little over a year ago, so it's um, energy efficient, it's pretty brand new, um, it works, it's pretty spacious um, for a refrigerator in a tiny home um, and so up top we got a microwave um, in place um, the refrigerator is able to be bolted in um, kind of to the house so for moving um, it won't move uh, the uh, microwave is also kind of got some wedges in place so it, it won't move during travel which is um, good as a safety feature um, next moving on to the kitchen we have a, a three burner gas range, um, stove top, and oven. Um, you're able to fit a standard 9 by 13 pan or so um, in the oven. Um, it's really nice. Uh, you can um, either light it via a flame um, at the bottom or do the spark knobs. Um, we have storage underneath. Um, all of the units here. They go pretty deep, which is nice. Um, we have underneath storage, the sink. Um, we have a, um, a Stiebel Eltron uh, water heater, um, which can be used uh, for hot water coming out of the faucets, either in the kitchen sink or the bathroom, um, both uh, bathroom, faucet, or shower. Um, okay. and we have, um, concrete countertops, um, that are sealed really nice to have, um, easy to clean up. And we have a small bar sink, um, the faucet moves around, which is easy, um, when you're moving around in tight spaces. Um, for cabinetry, we have, um, two cab cabinets on each side. Um, pretty nice for just um, storing your basic uh, small dishes or whatever dry goods that you have. And then we also have a nice uh, kitchen window, um, which is nice to look at while you're doing dishes or cooking dinner. Um, all of the windows are um, tempered glass. Yeah, and they all have screens as well. And they all have screens, um, which is nice. And they're um, the ones in the bedroom, um, not this one. Um, the ones in the bedroom and the living room, you're 
able to like pull down and clean, which is a nice feature. Um, so sturdy storm windows. Also, uh, nice stainless steel backsplash as well, which is um, really nice considering the close quarters of the stove top mm -hmm. and the sink. It's nice not to have things splashing all over the walls. Um, and then going off that for the kitchen, we have a vent um, for ventilation. Um, it's also easy to pop a window or two, two while cooking. Um, it's kind of a safety feature that's required um, in these tight quarters. Um, should I do the bathroom? Yeah. Okay. Next, we have the uh, bathroom. We have a wooden throne that we had custom built. Um, it, the house originally came with a ceramic um, uh, stool. Uh, we removed the stool. Um, still totally capable to have a regular um, toilet in here. Um, that's just depending on preference. We have our window um, and vent like for ventilation. Um, we can close. We have a small sink, um, uh, some room underneath to store some items. Nice ledge over here for storing uh, toilet paper or what other, whatever other toiletry items you may need. Um, uh, the shower is, uh, I would say, is fairly spacious. Um, I'm about five five, so if you're a little bit taller, um, it's kind of close, but um, the shower works well. Very clean still. Very clean. All right, next we're uh, moving on to the bedroom. Um, something that we should note with both the, uh, something to note with both the bedroom and the bathroom is that we have sliding doors that go, um, that hide away in between the walls, um, which is just nice in case um, for small privacy purposes. So moving into the bedroom, we have a um, full-sized bed. Um, like we mentioned earlier, this is a full ceiling room. Um, the kitchen uh, kind of cuts off the loft, um, which is nice uh, to have like this space um, that's uh, full and open um, and not as you know cramped as some tiny houses um, may seem for some people. Um, and it's totally accessible. You can walk all the way around, um, which is nice um, for ease of access. Um, and we have, uh, safety window on this side for exits in case of emergency and um, I'll show the window and for cleaning purposes able to slide these windows out put them back in really nice for that spring cleaning um, idea And so back into the bedroom here, we have um, cubbies on either side of the bed. Um, they come with a, um, a rod that you're able to hang things, um, a smaller square sized space to store personal items if needed. Um, we have a backpack here for scale to kind of give you an idea of um, what that space kind of looks like. Um, there are ample outlets um, in the bedroom. There's um, one on, this side near the window, one closer to the corner, one up top with also another uh, cable jack if needed. Um, one, another one near the window and there's a final one um, below the right side cubby. And one more thing, a couple more things about the bedroom is that we have the um, Power box. We have the electrical box. Um, so here we have all of the what are these called? power switches. Here we have all of the power switches. They're um, uh, luckily labeled. And um, so when you're looking underneath the kitchen sink to um, kind of figure out uh, what hookups are where, you're able to kind of see um, with these labels um, what, whatever. We'll edit. Luckily, um, all these power switches are labeled. Easy. And then one last thing about the bedroom is that this is where our 
um, water tank is stored, that 30 gallon potable water tank, and also that water inlet that you can have for um, that immediate water intake. So we have that, um, that switch to that pump that turns it on and off um, to kind of have that all access whether or not. And switch. Yeah. So underneath the bed here, you can see we have some more hatch storage. Uh, this is great for, you know, extra clothes or um, any other larger items that you may just want to tuck away. It's extremely spacious, fairly deep, and um, really is a great way to, to kind of get some things out of your way. Can you say it one more time? Can you say that all one more time? Yeah. So this is the storage uh, directly underneath the bed. And this bed frame is uh, obviously it's built directly into the ground, so it really works great as a hideaway space for um, you know other seasonality of clothing or um, any other types of larger items that uh, you know you'd rather just have out of your space and not out in the open. This is a great um, location for uh, kind of all that miscellaneous stuff and all your other personal items. And then you can see down here in this hatch list as well. This is our 30-gallon potable water tank. So you have a couple options for water storage and water flow in this house. You can directly fill this water tank through that uh, inlet on the outside of the house. And then rather than having water hooked up 24 seven, you could just run water from that tank. Whenever your tank is empty, you can refill it. Or you can bypass the tank and you can have water hooked up directly to the house uh, through a well. And then the water will just be pumped through the house with this electric water pump. And that runs water to the shower, to um, the flushable toilet, if you choose to have a flushable toilet, the bathroom vanity sink, the kitchen sink, and um, yeah, those, those four features. Okay. And then uh, I just wanted to show... Can we do the bathroom again? The water hookups under here. Yes. Um... One more thing about this space is um, this is where all of your water lines are going to be located and uh, it's super easy. All the all of the valves are labeled and it just allows you to open and close whatever valves you don't want water running to. So we don't have a flushable toilet right now so we have the, uh, the toilet line closed. That way water isn't running to that line. That line would not be hooked up to anything. We'd have water going everywhere. So very, very well done. Very professional. And really allows you to have full control of the amenities you use in the house and uh, depending on your location or your situation you get to pick and choose you know what resources you want to use in the house which is a great feature can we do the bathroom again yeah do you want me to okay. what are we doing here it doesn't matter you tell me i don't care just tell me okay well, i'll just do it okay so next we have the bathroom we have um the hideaway door um in here we have a custom built um, wooden throne. Um, we do um, have the capability to have a normal uh, porcelain toilet, um, but for our purposes here in uh, the Northwoods, we had that removed. Um, it's still totally capable of running on a flushing toilet. Um, so all those hookups are there. They're just, uh, the water hookups are, um, the water lines are, are turned off um, for the water there. And so in this bathroom, once again, like the kitchen, um, we have this vent here for um, moisture control, also a window here for some extra ventilation. Um, let's see, 